Come in, River Kids, River Kids. One, two, three. River Kids, come in. Hey, good to see you guys. I am an air traffic operator this morning. What is an air traffic operator? It's someone that sits in an air traffic tower and he manages all the aeroplanes to see if they can come, when they come in and see when they go out and make sure that all the flights are on schedule. So today, we are, now, are going to be air traffic operators. So, um, we are doing week four and we are talking about eternal life. Last week, we did look week three and we spoke about children of God. So guys, I hope you are ready. So let's jump in. Woohoo! Okay guys, let's look at the program for this morning. We're going to start off with stretches, then birthdays, worship, story time, activity, memory verse, and prayer. Woo! Let's do it guys. Song to sing, and I beat song to sing. It feels good when we're together. It feels good when we belong. It feels right when we're united. No divides, living life as one. Okay guys, let's do some stretches. So first of all, we need to be a little bit active. So let's do some jumps. All right, so here are guys ready. If you remember those jumping jacks? Let's do a few of them. Let's go Lucas and Linka. Ten. Alexis, Liam, come on, do nog ten. Jan, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, George and Olivia, let's see if we can stand and run at one place. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Lift those knees, lift those knees. Leila and Luca, come and see if our arms are like Swai. Chris and Elissa. Draf lekker op een plek, draf lekker. Erin en Noah, kom eens kijken of ons bekend die ronde kan draf. En aan de kant toe. Pieti en Mati, kom eens draai die kant toe. Woe! Nou is ons lekker moeg nee. Nou kan ons een beetje strekken doen. Diamond, Isaiah, Aurora. Ze zullen recht om nog een beetje strekker te doen. Zo so kom ons gaan af. Maak jullie benen op. Dan gaan jullie af en kijk jullie of jullie in jullie tonen kan raak. Opa. En op. En af. En op. En af. En op. En af. En op. Kijk, okay, schud een beetje uit, schud een beetje uit. Nou breng jullie in benen een beetje nader, zijn zo so een breedte. Probeer jullie vier en jullie doen een rock. Alright. Erhard, Liara, is jullie raag. Kom eens gaan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nou gaan het moeilijk raak. Peer en Esmi, kom eens kijken of onze voeten tien elkaar kan houden. En dan afgaan en ons doen een rock. Is jullie raag. En go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Woe, hij strak lekker die zo'n mensen, Emmys. Alright, Alex en Lindy, kom eens kijken of we zo'n pianen zo opmaken. Of we zo'n beetje kan zo strak zo. Jelle, dit is nou wel lekker. Amelie, kom eens kijken of ons ons boerlijven en cirkels kan draaien. Upper bodies, peak circles. 
Abia, Lea, kom ons gaan. En gaan jou linkerkant om. 2, 3, 4, 5. Kom ons gaan aan die kant toe. K3, let's go to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, en 5. Christian, kom ons rol so'n bykie die skouwers uit. Let's roll those shoulders out. And, you must look like a chicken. And then you go to the front. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ethan, kom ons draai ons skouwers achter toe. Let's take it to the back. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Almost finished, guys. Talon, let's roll our necks out. So we're going to take our head and roll it to the front. One side to the other. One side to the other. And then the back side. Woo. Now our necks are loose, guys. The Nike. Come on, let's see if our neck is on top of the neck. Or if our neck is on top of the neck. No. So let's go to your right side. And let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And on the other side. Druk, kom, druk, kom, druk, kom, druk, kom. En dan voor. Druk om so hard as wat jy kan. En dan achter. Druk, kom, druk, kom, druk, kom, druk, kom. Ja. Kijk jylle. Ek denk nou moet ons ons oor instrek dat ons mooi kan hoor. We must stretch our ears so that we can listen properly today. Stretch them out. We want to listen today. Stretch them, stretch, stretch. Guys, I think we are totally stretched for this morning and ready. Let's jump into the next. We're going to do birthdays. Check this out, guys. Kids, we just want to say a happy birthday to Luca and Odia. He is turning five on the 14th of May, and we just want to wish you a day filled with happiness and a year filled with joy. And I hope you'll enjoy the aeroplane. Come in, River Club kids, come in. Are you still on pause? Seems like you guys are out by 20 degrees. Come a little bit to the left, come to the little bit to the left. Alright, seems like you guys are on track now. Thank you for those birthdays. Next up, it is worship. I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history Carry all my shame I have decided I'll go if you go with me On my own I'm history Only you can carry all my shame Satisfied Searching of my soul Grace and love
I'm pushing forward Past these outer borders Through the shallow waters Where your love can win my heart again I'm pushing forward Past these outer borders Through the shallow waters Where your love can win my heart again Satisfy Searching of my soul Your grace and love They lead me to your throne With love stretched wide You run to bring me home Jesus, it's you alone down, I give it all up, I trust in you cause your love is enough for me, I lay it all down, I give it all up, I trust in you cause your love is enough for me, I lay it all down, I give it all up, I trust in you cause your love is enough for me, I lay it all down, I give it all up, I trust in you cause your love is satisfied. Searching of my soul Your grace and love They lead me to your throne With arms stretched wide You run to bring me home Jesus, it's you alone So lacquer to worship the king. Yay! Guys, so next up it is story time. Listen properly, listen carefully, and open those eyes. We're gonna watch the story. Check it out. Whoa! Captain Clouds, we're probably really close to heaven right now, don't you think? What makes you think that? Like we are above the clouds already. And that's supposed to mean that we're near heaven. Well, of course, isn't it? Isn't heaven just above us, like in space somewhere? Well, not quite, Captain Runway. Wait, who told you that? Um, it's in the Bible, of course. It's in the Bible? Yeah, in the Bible. If you can show me where in the Bible it is, I might believe you. You've got control, right? I've got control. Sure, I'll show you. Psalms. Okay. John, do tell me. I thought I thought I saw some. I uh, I just can't find us, Captain Klaus. I'm sure it was somewhere here. The Bible says that Jesus is preparing a new heaven and a new earth for us. So we don't actually know where heaven is. Is it? So are you saying there's no heaven? Of course not. What I'm saying is that we don't actually know where heaven is. And that's a good thing. Imagine that we knew everything about God. He wouldn't be so powerful if we knew everything about him. It's because there's so many mysteries that we realize how enormous he really is. You're right, Captain Cloud. It's not just in the clouds or in space somewhere. Well, that, the Bible doesn't tell us exactly where it is. So we've just got to believe that it's there and that one day we'll get to see it. 
Ooh, I can imagine those incredible golden Xboxes, those golden PlayStations, having chocolate milkshake, and spending time with Jesus forever. So be nah. Have you ever thought about what it must be like to live forever? Oh, that thought just made me want to go crazy! Living for eternity, Yo. living forever with Jesus and knowing that it's never going to end. Like, like, why can't you just go to heaven right now, Captain Klaus? It doesn't quite work like that, Captain Runway. God has put us on earth to glorify him in everything that we do and so that we can go to other people and tell them about Jesus so that they too can join us in heaven and spend eternity there. Just imagine every Christian who's ever lived worshipping Jesus together in heaven. Wow, that will be so glorious, Captain Clown. Be amazing. Yay. Okay, kids, so you see, if we give our hearts to Jesus, we're going to live with Jesus in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and that's going to be so awesome. And guys, that is what eternal life is all about. It's never ending. It's never going to stop. We're going to live on forever. The sad part is, those who do not give their hearts to Jesus is going to go to, the, to hell, guys. And they're not going to be with Jesus forever. They have, they're going to have eternal death. But those who choose Jesus can have eternal life. So you see, guys, Jesus just wants us to ask Him into our hearts so that we can live with Him forever and ever. And we change our ways and our being so that we can live for Jesus and not for ourselves. So, we need to live for eternity. Guys, I want to show you a little illustration. Here I've got a very long rope, very, very long rope, with a small piece that is green at the, at the end. So I want to explain this to you guys. So you guys, if I can drop this, it can go on and on. So imagine that this rope has got no end. Imagine it's got no end and it goes on for millions of kilometers and it never stops and you've only got this green part. What I want to teach you today, guys, is that imagine your life is only this long. So this is, say, 80 years or 90 years of the, your whole life with Jesus for eternity. If we live for ourselves, we live only this much for ourselves. And we, we're not living for eternity. So Jesus encourages us, this life that we've got, we need to live it out for eternity. Because when we're going to go to heaven, Jesus is going to give us rewards and He's going to reward us for the life that we live here on earth. So if this was our lifespan, you guys, for the kids are around about here in the beginning. And for us, it's around about here in the middle and the older people are right here at the end. Because when they die, and those that give their hearts to Jesus, are going to live forever and ever and ever with Jesus. So guys, we need to be encouraged. Whatever we do on earth, we need to live and think of eternity and not for the things of this earth because it's only this much that we're going to live for ourselves i hope this is a great encouragement for you guys remember we want to live for eternity guys next up it is the activity check this out hello everybody hello, hello. hello. nice to see you again we've got cat boy and gecko again with us today and we've got two activities that we want to share with you. For the boys, I'm going to make a sword. And I'm going to make an angel for the girls. Yay! So let's jump into it. I'm super excited for this activity. So all the girls, I'm going to make an angel today. So we're going to make an angel. Okay, first of all, uh, you're going to use, and you're going to need some paper plates. You're going to need scissors some glue, some coloring pencils, and then some glitter, if you like to. Um, you can also um, paste some ribbons on your angel or decorate it with some flowers. Whatever you like to decorate your angel with. All right. First of all, you're going to take your uh, one paper plate and you're going to cut, Amelie, you must ask mommy to help with the scissors. All right. You're going to cut almost like a pizza slice and quarter into the paper plate right into the middle okay there you go and we're gonna cut the another one there you go you see so it's gonna look like this right eh? 
Then you're going to turn this one around and we're going to paste. Let's just take the glue. We're going to paste the angel. There you go. Rebecca, you can ask mommy to help you with the, with the pasting. All right. There you go. Okay, so it's going to look like this, hey? Eh? There you go. Okay. And then we are going to cut out um, like a round circle. You can cut out a round circle um, out of white paper or anything that you can make a little head for the angel. All right. And so we're going to paste the little head right on top. There, you will see there where the gap is. You're going to paste the little head there. You will see like that. All right. So there's the angel's wings and there's a little head. Okay. So what we're going to do now, now we can start decorating. Yay. Okay. Leo, you can paste some, you can put some, um, some glitter glue on. You can ask mommy or you can use some flowers. Okay. Let's take the ribbon. Uh, so let's paste the ribbon. Okay, there you go. We're gonna do, we're gonna need some eyes for the angel, eh? She's gonna need some eyes, eh? Okay, there's some eyes. There's one, and there is two. And then we're gonna do a little smile as well for the angel. Oh, say. Because angels smile because they love Jesus, hey? All right, so my angel look like this, okay. And then I'm just going to paste some more of the blue little glitters, all right? And um, you know what? One day when we go to heaven, eh? There's going to be angels, all right? Eternal life is with Jesus. And there's also going to be angels. I wonder how, it's, how it will look like in heaven, eh? I know it's going to be beautiful. So... If we take Jesus in our hearts and we invite him into our hearts, we are going to be in heaven with Jesus and the angels. There you go. Okay, so you can do some more coloring if you like to. Um, you can color the little dress and you can color in the wings. That is how your angel look like then. Okay, let me just color in the dress a little bit. There you go. Okay. Awesome. And there you go. There's your little angel. How excited is this, hey? Eh? All right. See you guys. Bye. Hello, boys. How are you? Today, I'm excited to teach you how to make a sword, which represents the power and the might of our Lord Jesus Christ. First, you're going to need some glue, a glue stick. You're going to need some carton taken the opportunity to make a handle to draw it you can ask mommy or daddy Alex you must ask grandma or grandpa to help you with this if you're gonna make it then you're gonna need some color carton paper I used two of them like this and I stapled it together ask grandpa or grandma to help you when you do this then you're gonna use scissors always remember let mommy or daddy help you when you use the scissors don't try to do this by yourself and you're gonna need a ruler and you're gonna need a sharp knife and you're gonna need a pen okay so we're gonna start what you're gonna do with the ruler you're gonna draw a straight line on your colored carton you're gonna draw a straight line with the pen ask mommy or daddy to help you when you have drawn your straight line you're gonna cut it out with the scissors Finish, it's gonna look like this colored both sides and then we're gonna take the carton that I showed you we're gonna take the sharp knife 
Now call daddy or grandpa or mommy to help you. The knife is to make an opening right in the middle, like that V. Can you see? Like that, so that there is a space there. Then you're gonna use the scissors again to cut out your handle. finished you're gonna take your stapler again and you're just gonna make it firm okay. then you're gonna split it where you cut it with the knife like that you see then you're gonna take your colored carton you're gonna put some glue on it first remember a nice thick wrap of glue so that it can stick and remain steadfast like we have to remain steadfast in the world always remember that when you are finished putting your glue then you're gonna put it inside the gap that you made but don't press down on it yet you're gonna need another two pieces of carpet like that gonna put some glue on it and stick it together make sure that it fits nicely on top of each other and then you're gonna put it with the colored piece of carton into the handle this is what it's going to look like when it's finished when you put it inside the glue, but it's not finished yet. Now you're gonna take the scissors again, and you're gonna lift this front part. Let Daddy help you with the scissors. to remain for a while so that the glue can dry and you can also take your stapler just to make it firm and put a stapler in the middle so that it is nice and firm and then you put it down so that it can dry and the glue can dry and when the glue is finished dry then it will be nice and fit for fighting now we also call the bible the word and the sword and this represents the might and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Love you. Bye bye. 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 Okay. Till next yes. time. Thanks for that activity. All right, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this activity. Next up, it is the memory verse. So let's memorize this and get it into our brains. Good morning, Rabbi Kids. All of you guys are doing well. I want to teach you today's memory verse and it's from John 1 verse 12 For all who receive him For all who believe in his name He gave the right to become little children of God So for all who receive him For all who believe in his wonderful name He gave the right to become little children of God I'm going to say that again Kids, for all who receive God, for all who believe in Jesus' name, He gave the right to become little children of God. Bless you, kids. I'll see you soon. Thank you for that memory verse. Okay, River Kids, are you ready to come in for the landing? 
I just want to check on my radar. No, it doesn't look like there's any other planes. You guys are ready to come and land in around about five minutes, guys. Put on those flaps. Can you hear me, River Kids? Come in. Come in. All right, guys, seems like I've got you there. You are on course. You are ready to land in five minutes, guys. Guys, now we're going to do prayer. Okay, guys, let's pray together. Remember, guys, that when we pray, we talk to Jesus. It is not a religion, but it's a relationship. So, guys, let's talk to Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you for your great love. Thank you for your joy and your peace, your presence, your goodness. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for providing for us for food, a roof over our heads. Jesus, you are so good to us, Lord. And Lord, we are so excited the day that we gave our hearts to you, Lord, that we're going to live forever and ever and ever with you, Jesus, in heaven. We have eternal life because of you, Jesus Christ. Lord, please bless our mom and our dad, our families our household please bless the church help the church lord god to share the gospel with people lord god and lord i pray for myself lord jesus for me as a river kid that i would go out and make a huge difference outside there lord i want to put my hands on people and see them get healed lord jesus i want to pray for people that they would give their hearts to you lord i want to pray for people so that they can be filled with the holy spirit jesus use me as your river kid so that I can live for eternal life, Lord, for eternity. And not only for the small lifespan that I've got here on earth, Lord. Jesus, I want to say that I love you and that I want to give all glory and praise to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Guys, we came to the end of our session. Ah, but I want to encourage you guys to read your Bible, to pray to Jesus, to help mom and dad in the house and serve them. Remember to do your homework. We need to study so that we can get even wiser and have a lot of knowledge. Um, but guys, remember to live for Jesus. Remember guys, we from Riverflow Church, we love you all. You must have a blessed week. Take care. Bye.